<laughs> Good morning. My name is Kendall Tidwell, a proud member of the class of 2015 at Kip Sunnyside High School. I stand before you as a product of resilience. And I can tell you that I have been pulled, stretched, pressed, bent, but never have I been broken. Some of my earlier difficulties were experiencing the foster care system, having a parent suffering from mental illness and drug abuse issues, being a child of an incarcerated parent and having no identity. When I thought that hope didn't know my address, something very special happened in my life. My grandmother, she was able to gain custody of my sister and I, giving us a better environment than before to grow and learn. I finally felt like a kid, a role that was until then unfamiliar. And in the first year living with my grandmother, I was placed in a new mentoring program called US Dream Academy. And the great thing about this new direction in my life was that I was becoming more open and I started to trust adults again. And this was the first time I was surrounded by positive men that looked like me. <laughs> One of those mentors was Coach Walter who taught me about social emotional intelligence, the ability to label one's emotions appropriately and to use emotional information as a guide to communicate your feelings, ideas, and experiences in a way that everyone would understand. And learning this made me feel like a whole person and also building my emotional vocabulary and also building my emotional vocabulary, it, made, it helped me de develop a new perspective on my problems, a, new, a perspective that specifically honored the power of forgiveness. Forgiving myself for feeling hopeless and forgiving those adults who failed me. I actually started my journey at KIPP in sixth grade at KIPP Liberation. <laughs> then on to KIPP Sunnyside High School, where I am now a senior. I have learned the organizational skills, professionalism, and the strong work ethic we all need to be successful. Although, however, there were times when I thought I could not meet the high expectations of my KIPP teachers, but through leaning on them and my teammates, I not only survived, but thrived at KIPP. I did not feel defeated by the challenges. I learned to plow on and push through. And with the support of my family, my mentors, and my time at KIPP, I know I am ready to go to and through college. I plan to major in sociology and a minor in psychology or theater. I eventually want to earn a master's degree and become an advocate for children. Specifically, specifically young men of color and children with incarcerated parents who share my story. They need people like I had to support them on the road to success. You see, my story, although filled with challenges, is one of resilience, grit, and determination. KIPP went on beyond for me by exposing and creating opportunities to push me, like this one today. <laughs> I know I must pay it forward in gratitude to my grandmother, my aunt, my mentors, and my team and family to go on beyond for students behind me.
Last summer, I wrote my mother, who is currently in prison, and I forgave her for everything I endured in my youth. And in doing so, I never felt more free and light in my life. Before, I thought I would never be capable. I thought my circumstances would dictate my future. But because of my family, my birth in Kip, and the hope and faith in myself, my ability and purpose was restored. And so to Kip, I say thank you. Thank you for going on beyond Z for us and because of what we have learned from you, we can now go on beyond for others. Thank you and have a great summit. Yeah.